Hello, this is Broer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Valley Springs start from scratch run here. Just finished up this field. Got to get a couple spots up here that we missed. And then we will move on to the next field. Looks good. Uh, I'm not going to dump this yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and just drive this over to the new field and we will uh, fill it up from there since we're not even halfway full yet. Is this the one where I have to like back out or something weird? Or am I just completely stuck now? I am completely stuck now. Oh, there we go. Can I make this corner at all? There we go. I just had to, had to get it at the right angle. By the way, if you are watching this, uh, the day it comes out, I think, let's see, let me check, see what day it comes out. <laughs> I don't remember suddenly. I think this comes out on Wednesday, the 25th, uh, which means that uh, this evening, Wednesday, the 25th, I'm actually going to start streaming a uh, farming simulator run. It'll be a bit late just because I, I do live in a mountain daylight time in... Uh, in Colorado, but uh, uh, it's going to be 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock my time. But if you miss the stream, uh, which is fine, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see the recording the, you know, whenever you whenever you watch again, because the recording should be posted right after the stream finishes. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I kind of call that out. I just wanted to kind of do some more farming simulator content. It will be another start from scratch run. Um, it will not be on Valley Spring. It's actually going to be back on Elm Creek. I kind of wanted to give Elm Creek another start from scratch attempt because my first attempt is a very popular series but it's also the series that i probably made the most mistakes in <laughs> like i made a lot of mistakes early on and i kind of wanted to give myself just for my own benefit a chance to kind of see if i could get any better with it uh do be more efficient with it things like that so it might be a lot of, there might be some similarities between that and the uh the first recording but that first recording was two years ago so i feel like it's time to kind of go back and give it a good fair shot now that I've learned a few things. Well, theoretically learned a few things. <laughs> I can't promise that I've actually learned anything, but we'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going through that, but that is not the gate. Already got all the crop dropped off for 16 because when I dropped off for two, it just contributed to 16, which is fine. Obviously, it's pretty normal. Yep, my goal is to be streaming every Wednesday night for Farming Simulator. Uh, I do also have a Saturday stream for Civilization currently going. Um, that will continue for a bit longer as well. And I'm considering adding one more day somewhere. Probably Monday. It would probably it would not be either Civilization or Farming Simulator. It'd be something different. I haven't decided what it would be, what what it's all gonna look like. I'm just trying to get a little bit more kind of going, a little more maybe aggressive is the right word, uh, with my content and just building the channel. It's been coming up on seven years, I think, since I started this channel. Uh, or is this the sixth year? This might be the sixth year. So we're about to start set year number seven, I think. Uh, and it's grown. Don't get me wrong. I, I love the growth. It's it's uh, it's in a pretty good spot for uh, as I was mentioned before. Good hobby money. I mean, it's definitely enough money to pay for a new computer and a streaming computer, so I can kind of be more efficient with my recordings and things like that. But uh, not quite 
not quite money to consider doing this full-time yet. So, even though I do it full-time. I put a lot of hours into YouTube, even though I don't actually get the full-time money for YouTube yet. But, it's okay. It is, it's still fun. It's what I enjoy. I enjoy doing it a lot. Would it be amazing to do this as a job someday? Sure, but that's not easy. Uh, most people do not get to the point where they can do YouTube as a job. That's just statistically just not how it works. But uh, you never know. I'm hoping if I start doing the live streaming stuff that... Uh, that can help grow the channel in other ways than I've already done so far. So that's kind of the purpose there. Multiple ways to grow the channel. I mean, I am going to be live streaming on YouTube itself. Because obviously that's where my audience is. I have, I technically have a Twitch account. I'm pretty sure I've never streamed a day in my life on Twitch. And obviously starting out Twitch, you got to get to the affiliate level. I think you used to. At least that's how it used to be. I haven't checked Twitch in forever. But I'm assuming you still have to get kind of the whole affiliate level before you can even, you know monetize and all that kind of stuff so i figured i would just start on youtube see where that gets me kind of gauge how things look I'm not saying i would never try out twitch but uh and there is i could see a pro and con of twitch right the pro of staying on youtube has already got the, the, the audience here right and obviously youtube is you know it's it's already equipped ready to go but uh the pro of being on twitch is that you can gain audience from another site that might not normally go to a, a YouTube site, you know? There might be people who only watch on Twitch. So it's something I'm considering and it's something I'm thinking about. And I definitely, if you're watching this and you have comments or suggestions or thoughts, I welcome any any feedback. I would definitely, you know, definitely find that appreciative, but uh, we'll see where it goes. I actually have no idea. Uh, I'm still, still just trying to think through the logistics of everything. Like I said, I'm gonna start off on YouTube for sure. Uh, just to kind of get in the habit of doing the, the streaming. If I feel like the, I can stay consistent because I'm not going to go to Twitch and try to work on an affiliate level if I'm not going to be able to be consistent on YouTube in the first place. If I can be consistent, then uh, I might consider the Twitch thing. I just want to do more content. I just want to get more content out. I thought that was another... Kind of a unique way to do something a little bit different. When I had made this trailer bigger to see if I could hold more, I, I, I can't hold more. <laughs> this trailer does not does not handle the extra load very well. Well, at least this, I should say this truck specifically. But even the trailer, it only ca it caps out like just under eight thousand liters uh, from the from the weight um, limit. So I should have just left it at the two. I mean, it's not like it's that much bigger, not that big of a deal. But I could have just left it at the two panels just to just to make things a little bit simpler. stuck on something i'm stuck on the hill wow this truck has served as well it has served us really really well and i really like this truck a lot it definitely has a little bit of a limitation as far as what it can pull we're, we're at the upper limit of what it's able to pull uh easily
Cheers, me, sir. Coming, coming come through. <laughs> you can tell that I've just gotten to the point where I just don't even care about the traffic anymore. It exists. Cosmetically. And that is it. Good to get through all these contracts. It's going to give us a lot of options going into grass season. Well, I guess we're kind of already in grass season, to be fair. Get you going again. Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, let me get a little bit further along in this field. Now we'll bring you guys back in a bit. All right, we're back. Almost done with this field. Just a few more passes here and we will be good to go. Already finished field two. This will be, I was going to say, we're about to finish field 16. That's a 15% bonus with both of those guys now. Uh, so that will be extremely nice. That means the 15% is obviously less important than the fact that we've done three contracts, which means we can lease equipment for both of those guys at this point. Should be all the wheat fields for now, though. I will check to see if there's any more in just a moment. Get yeah, the wrong buttons. Um, go ahead and put the pipe out.
All right, while we're doing that, let's check the contracts real quick. So these two are completed. We got two barleys and an oat left at the moment. Do we have any more down here that would be worth picking up? There's another barley on 157. That's pretty far away, but we probably still will grab this one. That will be all of the harvesting contracts, it appears. Where should we take this? Uh, let's see. Oh, that went too far. <laughs> the wheat goes to sell everything, so that's where we've been going anyway. Got plenty of time to do these rest of these harvest contracts, and I think maybe fit one or two grass contracts in as well. So we will take a look at that here in a moment, too. Right, let's get you dropped off. Uh, let's get you closed up. We're just going to move you over to field 21. Looks like there is not a gate straight over to it, so we'll just have to go around. This might be the last harvest contracts we do for a while because I think we're going to have enough grass contracts opened up to do just about anything we want to at this point. At least enough that we can um, get the equipment we need to do the grass contracts for other people without having to rent their equipment. Uh, that's the best way to do this. I'm going to just start here and just work our way around. It's a pretty good sized field. Probably write down these other two names before I forget them, actually, real quick. Let me go look at those. So we finished uh, 16 here, which is Jason Borg. Let me write that down. Jason Borg with an R. And then the other one is this guy up here that has two, which is Dylan Malloy.
All right, so we got four different guys opened up. Like I said, that's going to be plenty to get a lot of stuff from. What are we, what's this guy that we're doing right now, actually? Uh, which is this one. Patty McNally. He's at 5%. So we need two more with him. Uh, and then we have nine up here. That is Brandon Tracy. That'll get us to 15 with Brandon Tracy. So getting that one done will be good. And there was one more, I thought. Didn't we have one more? Uh, we have two more, actually. Uh, this one will actually get us... Oh, this is also Brendan Tracy. So either one of those would have gotten Brendan Tracy. We could have just ignored that one, I suppose. I didn't realize he had that much land. That's a lot. Uh, that's okay. That'll get us up to 20%. And then the last one is down here. And that will only get us to 10% with Ronnie. So still a little bit more with a couple of these guys. But we're going to at least add one more, which will be Brendan Tracy, like I just said. Which will be nice. Uh, and we'll get a couple more very close. So yeah, five guys. Brendan Tracy thrown in there too. That is going to be a lot of fields that we can work uh, and borrow equipment from as needed. I mean, I could just ignore the rest of these harvest contracts uh, once we get the Brandon Tracy ones done. But eh, we'll get them done. They're not going to take that, that, that long. Like I said, this might be the last we do for a long time. So we might as well just kind of go ahead and get these finished up checked off our list and move on. Oh, this field actually goes right up against this farm over here. Did not realize that. It's not a bad farm. I wouldn't. It would be a good one to have at some point, but I think I've got my eyes on a different one. We'll, we'll see if eventually we can get enough percentage to per make that one worth our while. I don't know if we're going to have to go around this tree here. Kind of an awkward corner. Gonna back up, start this line again here. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll go a little bit longer because we're almost to the end of the episode anyway. So let me just bring you guys along for this little bit, and then we'll call the episode there. Yeah, making good progress. Like I said, we we had two guys before. Now we're up to four. We're about to get a fifth. That is a lot of extra grass fields. We will be doing grass fields pretty much exclusively here very soon. Probably exclusively silage grass fields. That's part of the reason why I wanted to add the extra guys in so that we can get more predominantly silage. Those are going to be worth a little bit more to us. And then um, kind of go from there. Not that we'll never do hay. I mean, obviously, if we run out of silage contracts in a month and we... I feel like there's still time left in the month. Might also knock out a few hay ones. That's fine too. Or if there's like a hay one close to the silage, we can just knock them both out real quick and spell them all up. Go on from there.
There's massive grass fields up here. I can't imagine, though, trying to mow up that steep of a hill. Like, that's just insane. <laughs> Because they're not really a fields, they're just areas of grass is probably the better way to put it. Finish this pass and we'll call it an episode. I feel like we've laid the groundwork, right? We built up the reputation with several of these guys. And now it's just a matter of capitalizing all that that we've done. Uh, get a couple more of these guys you know, down to that 50% mark on their, you know, discounts. And that should open up the door for us to be able to buy some, some nice fields somewhere. All right. Well, we're going to put a cutter there. Um, when we come back, I'll have this field further along. We'll finish up the rest of these harvests probably in the next episode and start working on grass again. And that's going to be like grass until we are <laughs> green in the, in the, in the, Whatever, I don't know. I can't come up with a good analogy there. Well, we're going to have grass coming out of our ears. That's what I was going to say. But there we go, guys. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.